Drummers, you need to remember to take rests. Musical rests. What's up everyone, CJ here, I hope you're all doing well. So in my previous sight reading lesson, I showed you some basic music theory and some common rhythms. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can watch it right up here. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some rhythms that includes rests. Now, before we start, as always, all of my channel members out there will be able to download everything from this lesson, including the transcriptions, the click tracks, and my drum tracks, and the link in the member community tab. So if you're not a member yet, consider joining to get access to some extra bonus content. Now, a rest in musical terms, is an interval of silence in the music. So it's basically a pause between the notes. And just like notes, rests also have their note value. And that's what we're gonna learn today. And naturally, let's start with a quarter note rest. Just like the previous lesson in this video series, we're gonna play everything in 4-4. So the quarter note rest, just like the quarter note, is worth one quarter note beat. If we look at the transcription, you can see that the rest looks like a solid bolt of lightning almost. And if you would write out four rests within a 4-4 measure, you have one measure of silence. I'm gonna show you four measures of 4-4 where I've placed quarter note rests at different beats. As you can see, it's not that bad, right? Now, let's move to the eighth note rests. Eighth note rests are the exact same thing as eighth notes, but silent. If we look at the transcription, you can see that the eighth note rest looks like a weird seven, or like a cursive staff with a thick handle. I'm gonna show you a simple example of four measures with eighth note rests placed at different beats. Okay, you guys, 16th note rests. The 16th note rest looks similar to the 8th note rest, but as you can see, the staff now has two handles on it. Think of it this way. Just like how the 8th note has one flag on it and the 16th note has two flags on it, the rests are written in the same way. The 8th note rest has one handle and the 16th note rest has two handles. Let me show you an example. Awesome work, you guys. Now you know the most common rests in music theory. Let's finish this by playing 16 bars of various rhythms, including different note values and their corresponding rests. Time for a challenge.
That's it, you guys. Now you know both note value and wrist value. In the next video about sight reading for drummers, I'm gonna walk you through dotted notes and what the hell they are. All my channel members can download everything from this lesson, and I'm also gonna include an extra sight reading challenge for all my full kit members. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. If you haven't seen my first video about sight reading, you can check this video right here, or you can check this video right here, whatever it's gonna be for you. Thank you so much for watching everyone and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.